Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with a hangout and highlight session uh, with Coach Carissa Hubbard, uh, awesome lady doing some great things. And I just wanted to take the opportunity to highlight her and the amazing things that she's doing, she's doing so that you guys can go follow her and show her some love. So first off, Coach, <laughs> thanks so much for taking the time to hang out with me on this hangout and highlight session. Thank you so much for having me. Um, you know, you are just as amazing and incredible. Um, and I've had the pleasure of hearing you speak and, you know, yeah. getting to interact with you and your family. So it's truly been a blessing. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, let's let's dive into it. Tell us a little bit about, you know, who you are and, and what it is you do. Perfect. So my name is Carissa Hubbard. Um, I am a educator. Um, as well as a basketball coach. Um, I'm also an author. Um, I'm a daughter. I'm an aunt. I'm a friend. Um, and I just, you know, I feel like my purpose is to help young ladies, young adults, not only in the realm of um, sports, but also just in life. Um, I feel like I try to use all of my life experiences to kind of empower and uplift the young ladies. So that's kind of my my ministry that I've taken. Um, that's what my books are based on is, you know, just being a positive role model um, for young ladies and kind of giving them the, as they, as they say, the keys um, to, to the bag. Know, yeah, <laughs> to secure the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, well, talk to us about uh, your books. Uh, you know, I think uh, people need to know about that. Tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. So um, I'm the author of The Popular Girl, which I have now turned into a series. Um, so my first book is just titled uh, The Popular Girl, um, and it's about a young lady that creates the new norm for popularity in school. Um, so she becomes popular not because she's the most beautiful girl, not because she's the most athletic, but genuinely because she loves God. Um, she's interceding for friends and praying for them and giving them encouraging words. And so by the end, everybody in school loves her just because she's such a genuinely sweet person. Um, and then my second book is Popular Girl, First Communion. Um, so now she's kind of in her Christian journey. Um, she's at her first communion. And funny story, my athletic coordinator um, that I worked with um, two years back, um, he's, a, he's a preacher. And he was like, look, I'm going to give you two things. And I need you to write a book. He was like, church mouse and hood rat, go. And it just kind of took off from there. So it's her journey on um, her first communion. And of course, there's a little, a little twirl in the game. So um, yeah, those are what my books are about. That's good. How has, um, how has that journey been for you? You know, just uh, being, you know, like our, our tracks are similar, you know, as far as educators, coaching, mm -hmm. you know, writing books, trying to, striving to impact based on the experiences how has that journey been for you um you know it's been beautiful um I will say it's been so god-led because when I tell you I was never going into education and meant it <laughs> um but um with my background in journalism it was so hard to find a job I was fresh out of college and I was getting laid off and I'm like mm. this just this is a lot um, and so my mom being an educator, my sister's an educator, my grandmother was a superintendent. So I'm like, am I finally having to do it? Um, I'm running. <laughs> no, I couldn't <laughs> run. I couldn't run. Uh, um, so, you know, I remember the last time that I got laid off, I was like, okay. So like, I want to be able to live out my dream and write, but I want to be able to write what God has called me to write. So that last layoff, I really spent that whole summer and I wrote my book and I said, you know what, this is what God has been calling me to do. I'm going to do it. And I did it. Um, and so then my next position was the basketball coach at Cypress Christian. 
um, as a middle school coach. And I was like, oh my gosh, God, so you had a plan this whole time. So you wanted me to write books because you need the books in the school with the kids. Got it. So, <laughs> so again, it's been so God led because had it been for me, <laughs> I was running. Yeah, you'd have been um, all messed up. Yeah, I, had, I did. I was all <laughs> over the place. Uh, but it's been so beautiful. I do. I truly have amazing kids that I interact with that, yeah. you know, I had one that just called me a couple of weeks ago and was like, hey, coach, look, I, I'm having a hard time. Can we go grab some breakfast? Absolutely. See you tomorrow. Um, so, you know, that's been the beauty of it is really getting to make a difference. Well, I mean, I'm going to say this to you. Um, now, I didn't know all of that about your backstory, but that's good to hear. <laughs> um, but myself, you know, coming from like I'm a fourth generation educator and, and church folks as well, church folk. Uh, mm-hmm. And I would hear them say, you know, to be great at, at being an educator, it's a calling. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so I didn't, I didn't know what that meant until I got into it. Yeah. And and it's and it's so true. Mm-hmm. And it's a great situation when you know wholeheartedly that you've put the work in yeah. uh to be the best version of yourself so that you can be a blessing to others. Yeah. And and I and I call that, you know, being in alignment with your assignment. I like that. Come I on. Like that. I like that. That's the word right there. Yeah, come on. I like and, that. And and I truly believe that you are too. And so I, I just want to commend you for for all the work that you're doing. Uh, you know, remind you that you are on the right path uh, and let you know that it's truly inspiring. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, when I had my um, book signing, um, a lot of my girls from school came and, you know, you know, girls, they're, they don't exactly tell you like, oh, you're such an inspiration coach. We appreciate you. You know, they just come and smile and and they probably talk about it on the side. Um, and at the end of the year, um, they allowed students to write like teacher appreciation letters to whichever teacher. And I'm like reading them of girls that, you know, barely say two words to me. And they're like, you're such a role model to me. Like I yeah. can't believe you all the amazing things you do. And I'm like, oh my God, I had no idea. Like this yes. is- This is amazing. And, you know, it's not always for the applause and the claps and the accolades. But like when I get to see girls that have now grown and matured and, you know, knowing that you've had an impact on that, like that's what it's all about for me. Period. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I don't want the wins. I want to see them win. (laughs) Period. Well, what I know you put on some events and you do some different things. Can we talk about some of that stuff so the audience can know and, and support you on that? Absolutely. So I, again, the Lord, he, he's not going to leave me alone until I do everything I'm supposed to do. So um, <laughs> um, I have finally um, put together my first um, youth conference, um, and it's called the Popular Girl Conference. And the theme this year is Push and Pee. So again, I'm trying to make sure I relate, you know, with the kids. I try to make it as, you know, as fun, for lack of a better term, as I can. Um, So on July 29th, we will be at the Berry Center. Um, I have some amazing speakers. Um, I have um, a good friend of mine, Denai Strother. She's the owner of D1 Nutrition. Um, I have Jaslyn Simmons. She's the owner of uh, Prim Beauty. Um, Both are out in Cyprus. Um, And then I have also Nikki Shepard. She's the COO of Shep Boys Waste Management. Um, Just an amazing, incredible young lady. She's known me since I was a kid. Um, Her son is Russell Shepard, who, of course, played in the NFL. Um, So, yeah, I'm excited for them to kind of get to share key points on, you know, finding your purpose, um, being persistent, and then engaging in philanthropy. So, you know, the ultimate goal is not only for girls to take in some great information and great tools as we go into the new school year, but we're also going to do a community service activity. Um, So um, I've got some um, hygiene items and we're gonna make hygiene kits and we're gonna give it to the homeless. Um, So I really wanted this to be an impactful event where not only you're listening, but you're doing. 
So July 29th at the Berry Center, 6 to 8 p.m. Um, I would love girls of any age to come through. I think it's going to be amazing. I also have asked amazing young yeah, well, I guess older women to be there because I want when girls are, you know, gaining this information, they can not only hear it, but they see it. Oh my gosh, she's a doctor. Oh my gosh, she's a teacher. Oh my God, she's, oh my God, everybody's in the room. So that's the idea behind um, the Popular Girl Conference. That's amazing. And, and uh, <clears throat> it's good stuff uh, when you step out there. And, and I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this funny uh, with you. <laughs> I hadn't said this to you, but I'm going to say this while we're okay. recording. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, how we met, you know, I was speaking at an event and, and I want to uh, just commend you for your, your, your grind, your grit and your boldness to step out in what you believe. Okay. Right. And so I'll let you tell the story of how you had to go to the car and get the books <laughs> and wait. I'll let, I'll let you tell that. And then I'll say what I want to say. Perfect. So, um, so I had been there, the conference had been going on and there were some great speakers that night. That was truly one of my favorite nights that we had had. Um, and I knew I probably had missed chips. So I was like, ah, that's all right. Chip, you know, busy guy, but appreciate it. Um, and so then this nice gentleman comes up and he's speaking and I'm like, I feel that. Oh, he's an author. Oh, he's a children's author. I was like, I have to get him a book. So I leave the conference. I'm like, full speed running out of the Berry Center, like, oh, I got to get books before it's over. Like, I've got to be back. So I run back in and I'm opening the door and it's locked. And I'm like, oh God, no, you didn't send me out here to be locked out. Like, I have to get him this book. This is like, this is 911 emergency. So I'm pulling on all the doors. I'm pulling on all the doors and I can see people, but they can't see me. So I'm like banging on the door, like, oh my God, please y'all just come down here and open this door. And I mean, it was, it was a solid five minutes that I was out there banging on doors. Um, thankfully, a nice gentleman came and opened and I ran back in. I think I saw like the last two points and I was like, look, I made it. <laughs> Man, I love it. That's so good. <laughs> But I, I wanted you to tell that story because I wanted the audience to know that it's important to do those things. Yeah. Like, like you, you have to do those things. And I've been in so many situations uh, in my career, in my life, in my striving to connect with great people, to make right. an impact, um, you know, where I've had to step out of my comfort zone. Right? I've had to do things like that. You know, like, like, man, that is Carl Lewis. You know, like you're right there. You know? <laughs> right. Like, man, I have got to ask him to, to interview. You know, if yeah. I don't, I'll regret this I'll forever. It right. It's me right. and him in the room by <laughs> ourselves. Man, I got to ask him, you know. Have to. Have and to. so just those kind of things. And I want to commend you for that uh, because the first I appreciate the fact that for me, you know, that's awesome. Yeah. But but the next thing is for those that are checking the session out, that's how you have to be when you're striving uh, to do great things. Understand that it's bigger than you. And I'm going to just tell you, man, I love uh, your movement. I, I love what, what you're about. I love like, the books, like Thank such you. a such a great concept and doing it the right way, a godly way. Yeah. Um you know, yet having fun and, you know, yet, you know, enjoying the journey. And yeah. so I just want to commend you on that and, and wish you, I wish you continued success. And mm -hmm. if there's ever anything that I can do for you, you got me. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before we get off, if you don't mind sharing with the audience where they can go follow you and check you out and show you some love with all the amazing things you got and, and get those books. Yes. Awesome. So um, my website is author Carissa Hubbard, and that's K-A-R-I-S-S-A-H-U-B-B-A-R-D. Um, my books will be on there. Um, you're able to register for the conference on there. Um, I do have a spot for donations, which I've been truly blessed with um, a lot of donations so far trying to help make the conference a success. So if you'd love to be a sponsor, I will gladly accept. Um, also, you can follow me on Instagram, author Carissa Hubbard, which is the same spelling, um, Twitter, author K Hubbard. Um, Facebook, of course, is just my name, Carissa Hubbard. Um, I do have a YouTube page. It's just Carissa Hubbard. Um, I think I covered everything. 
Awesome. Good mm-hmm. deal. Well, again, I just want to say thanks so much for taking the time to interview with this Hangout and Highlight session on the Success Chronicles, and I wish you continued success. Thank you so much. Likewise. Thank you. Yes. And thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.